once upon a time, I did a show on student radio. It was a history show. It was called Past Force. It lasted for maybe 18 months. And then I just couldn't do it anymore. But towards the end, I was going to do a video internet-y spin-off type thing. But I never got round to it. Until now. This is Past Force. Angel Meadow. Sounds lovely, doesn't it? And, yeah, once, a long time ago, it was. It was an affluent, green, suburban pasture on the edge of Manchester. It was a land of rolling hills, green meadows, babbling brooks, singing birds. It was the sort of idyllic English rural idyll if you like. And then the Industrial Revolution happened. And then Angel Meadow became 33 acres of hell. It became the worst slum in the country. Friedrich Engels, who co-wrote the Communist Manifesto, in his book on the conditions of the working class in England, he wrote that Angel Meadow was the lowest, most filthy, vilest slum in Manchester. And he was right, because it really was terrible. In a very small space, there were living around 20 to 30,000 people. Most of them were Irish immigrants who'd come over to escape the potato famine. But what they found was a worse hell than they had in Ireland, because as Engels pointed out, Angel Meadow was vile. The living conditions there weren't exactly ideal to start with. Most people found themselves living in buildings that should quite rightly have been condemned. And a lot of them ended up in damp, dirty cellars without any windows. A lot of them didn't have proper furniture, they didn't have beds or chairs. They slept on the floor in a lot of cases, which wasn't a nice place to sleep, because, as I said, it was damp and dirty. And a lot of the time, up to 12 people were crammed into the tiny, tiny little space. In some cases, it was even as high as 20 people in a tiny space. You'd think in a thriving industrial city like Manchester, employment opportunities would be brilliant. You'd think they could get a job in a factory somewhere, they could soon go places. But you'd be wrong, because the chances of employment in Angel Meadow were fairly slim. Those who did get employment were often reduced to the lowest common denominator. They ended up going for whatever job they could find. A lot of them ended up as beggars, thieves, prostitutes. Really low-end jobs. Jobs that weren't really jobs at all. There wasn't really such a thing as a good job. The pay was pitiful. And once you got sucked into Angel Meadow, it was very difficult to get out again. Crime was rife, and really so was disease. It was full of cholera, typhoid. If the starvation and poverty didn't get you, the disease probably would. The worst part of Angel Meadow was the Church of All Saints and St Michael. It was described by the Guardian as the ugliest church in the city. It's not there now, so we can't tell, but I'm just going to take the Guardian's word for it. It was the ugliest church in the city. The problem with the church was that it became a pauper's burial ground. It's said that up to 40,000 people were buried there, 
and the stench coming from this burial ground was so bad that eventually it was paved over. But even then, there were so many people buried underneath that the bones were coming out of the ground. They were just there, lying on the surface, ready to be picked up and taken away by body snatchers or crows. In one case, it's even been reported that a group of kids took a skull from this burial ground and they started playing football with it. Imagine the worst Dickensian slum you can. Now make it ten times worse. Now add mud that's ankle deep. Now make it worse again. That's Angel Meadow. History! It's a thing of the past! It's a thing of the past.